Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to be making another video for Armor 3, this time covering how exactly the mods, the mission files, and the maps for Armor 2 are transferred over to Armor 3. So people who don't have access to the game are probably wondering exactly that, and even people who have access to the game probably don't know about any of the mission files which might be transferred, which were maybe popular on Armor 2, but we just haven't searched them because we didn't know they even exist. This is Wasteland in Armor 3. Just 24 hours into the launch, and you can go ahead and play this. And to be honest, it's almost fully functional. You can see the vehicle spawns random around the map work perfectly fine. The weapon spawns inside the vehicles, as we did in Wasteland for Armor 2, work perfectly fine. You can see I can take the laser point out, take some ammo, put that on my backpack, all that kind of stuff. Take a first aid kit, put that in my backpack. It works really well, and it does have a few problems with it right now, since, of course, you know, it just came out. It's version 1.02, which I'm running right now. I'm just going to take out my weapon quickly to show you that. And you can see, you know, got my lovely weapon from this car. Just going to go ahead and get in my car. And show you guys some of the features found in Wasteland for Armor 3 right now. You can see the name tags work perfectly fine. There is also a gun shop, which wasn't actually here last night because obviously it's been, you know, changed since last night. There's also objectives working right now. Of course, there will be Fiend for Armor 3, so the things you find inside the weapons cache are going to be Armor 3 weapons. Inside the gun store, you can buy attachments, which is a really big deal for pretty much any mod in my opinion. I mean, having attachments just means so much more variance for the weapons. In something like this, it just makes it so much cooler to find different shit, like you could find a better scope from someone. You kill someone who's just got a better scope, and you put it on your current weapon and use that instead. So, it's not like normal wasteland where, I don't know, maybe you'd get the best stuff and that would be that. You can carry around attachments with you, put attachments on when you need them, silencers on sniper rifles, all that kind of stuff. If you want to sniper rifles with sounds, it might be a bit overpowered because I know you can get the EBR, I believe it's called, and put a sound on that and it one hits people. So that's maybe a bit stupid, but you know, it's not exactly being fine tuned. It's just uh, trying out Wasteland on Armor 3. There's also random actual, what are they called again? The props, basically, around the map. They aren't the Armor 2 themed ones, Armor 3 themed ones, but since you know Alpha doesn't have many props, you won't find too many props to build bases with. But putting those in your cars, taking them out of your car, all that kind of stuff works perfectly fine. So. Basically, it's Wasteland, but on a new map and in Armor 3. You know, with the lovely physics of the cars, it's it's a lot better than I expected, to be honest. I thought it would take maybe a week to port us over, but it took, like I said, less than 24 hours to get all this done. So, I mean, I don't expect DayZ mods going to be on it soon. I do know the Zombie Sandbox Survival, I believe it's called. It's got zombies in it. Not really anything special, but still getting, like, some semi-functional zombies in less than 24 hours is, again, really awesome. So, I'm just going to be playing Wasteland for a while, just showing you guys how exactly it is in Armor 3. So I'm sure some people are interested, but basically all the features work perfectly fine. There's a shit ton of servers up for it. If you just search 404 Wasteland or Wasteland or 404 in a mission filler, you'll see all of these servers. And like I said, I'm just really surprised and happy to see this. I mean, Escape Shinaris. You can actually... Oh, actually I actually haven't talked about that whatsoever, but I was meaning to. Escape Shinaris. So speaking of Escape Shinaris, you can port over maps from Armor 2 very easily. You just copy them over, put them in an add-ons folder, put them in like an app folder, it enabled it in the expansions, and boom, you've got like Shinaris, you've got Utes, you've got Zargabad, you've got every map from Armor 2 instantly compatible with Armor 3. In the editor at least. I mean, they're all a bit buggy because there's no actual way of porting them over, like officially, but it's ridiculously easy to get all that kind of stuff working. I've seen someone take a screenshot of Taviana on Armor 3. It's just, I mean, Armor's built about built around community made stuff so knowing that people have done this 24 hours it's giving me some hope for a future of armor 3 not to say i was like lost my, all my hope or something but um it's a lot better than expected basically but like i said i'm just gonna go do some armor not some armor stuff some waste and stuff and show you guys me just shooting people you know some good old stuff but quickly i'm gonna go to the gun store and show you guys that just to my right i'm actually pretty sure it's an enemy of ps i'm gonna go ahead and try to murder this guy quickly see what i can do up beside this car over here. In fact, there might be a few enemies. I'm not sure. Got the shops to my left. Oh shit, he's right in front of me! Holy shit, I don't know I didn't see that guy. Apparently, I'm not paying too much attention. There's a guy up on this hill, I think, as well. You can pick up money from dead bodies. There's a shit ton of dead bodies here. Oh, that's dead. Shit, so I'm gonna get in this car quickly. I really need to take the money as well. Servers desyncing. Yeah, the servers are getting like pretty much DDoS this one because so many people are joining it wanting to play Wasteland. Um, but, you know, I just want to show you guys how it is. I mean, once... Oh god, this guy... <laughs> once all the the game's been sorted out in terms of the stability and whatnot, it's going to be amazing. It really is. I mean, it runs not too bad right now. Maybe a bit worse than Armour 2, I'd say. It's mainly because grass is forced on in Wasteland, otherwise this would run perfectly fine. But I am dipping below 30 quite often just because uh, grass is turned on or forced on. But this guy to my left over there, so I'm gonna go try to murder him quickly. 
is. But you can see you can get normal calls as well, these military style calls. It says naked. <laughs> There we go. Problem solved. So also something which is cool is that in Armour 3 we've actually got medikits, so those play into the health uh, aspect as well. So it's not just medics being able to revive and, well not revive, but heal people, but also I can treat myself, as you can see right here. And it'll give me a bit of health back. I think it just brings me up to 75 health on the Armour 3 thing. Not the Armour 3 thing, the Wasteland thing in the bomb, right? Of course it is a bit buggy still, but all these things work as well. I could change the view distance, which should actually help with my FPS a bit. You know, the food and drink works fine, dropping money works fine. I'll show you guys the gun store actually quickly because I actually completely forgot about that. If I go over here, I should be able to pick up money though. There we go. This guy did pick up money, so I can do that. It just works really well. I mean, maybe I'm overhyping it, but I love it. I just killed three people and I felt pretty good about it. With all the new stances, you know, being able to do all this shit and the new map, the future of new maps, porting over maps and putting them on this. I mean, people could. Maybe people will actually be encouraged to make Taviana. Wasteland now because Taviana Wasteland has been done before it's just no one joins it because no one knows how to do it But maybe someone can make that an actual thing because I would love Wasteland on Taviana I'm pretty sure everyone else would as well Or maybe I'm just lying but I'm gonna pick up some more money I'm gonna go to a gun shop quickly and buy some good shit Should be able to buy the sniper rifle, put a stance on it, put a really good set on it and there we go And it looks like you can't actually pick up um, food and drink right now because normally these have icons for food and drink But I'm guessing this is actually the icon for money so it's a bit easier to see where the money is I guess there we go. Just gonna pick up all that shit. Got six hundred dollars right now. Of course, you can just scavenge all of these vehicles and find loads of stuff inside them. Like there we go, another laser pointer, sound suppressor. I can't put on that because obviously they're different sizes. Take the chem lights. I love it. Let's see, so wasn't that was a friend who's behind me? I think, or maybe for enemies. Here a car. Oh, yeah, it's an enemy car. Look at him. What's he doing? Oh, it looks like he's taking something out the back. I'm gonna try to move around before he takes it out. Shit, he just went around a corner. How much did he aim from Lewis? I think this guy knows I'm following him, maybe. Did he go inside? Yeah, he did. Fuck. Headshot, I think. No? Fuck. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Shit, there's an enemy outside. Holy fuck! That's got a sounds weapon. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know what's happening. I've killed, what, five people now? Yeah, five people. This is pretty chaotic, but I mean, you know, you're not expecting people to do anything too magnificent since it has just came out. I'm in a pretty good time, though. So far. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly buy some stuff from Gunshaw. Gunshaw, that's totally what it is. Um, buy a... I'm going to sell my current weapon quickly. I'm going to sell that. Take the EBR. Take the ammunition for the EBR, which is... This one. By a this site and also shit. I'm pff, fuck. I don't know what it is. Seven. Okay, so it's this one. Um, I think I'm done. Shit. Buy the crate. What crate? Shit. I don't think there is a crate. Fuck. Oh wait. Is that a crate? No, that's, that's definitely not a crate. What crate? I don't know where I just bought it to. That's that's a problem. Okay, I think I might have just lost everything. That ain't good. Oh, let's pick up our old money at least. Right, so I think I've shown off the PvP aspect pretty well, so now I'm going to go ahead and try to find an objective to show you guys as well. I think I'm just going to pick up a normal weapon. I would love a sniper, but, you know, whatever well, these weapons will do anyway. I'll just, I'll just take a... Underwater gun, I don't want that. Of course, you can do, you know, if you make a base on the shoreline, you can bring in the underwater gameplay, get some flippers going, and if like that, that'll be awesome as well. I guess then eventually you'll be able to buy them, or maybe you can buy them right now. I'm not sure, they're flippers. And the, the chest kits you can bring them. I'm guessing that's just something they might not fall about right now, but... Eventually, right, let's see. MX, I need to get some MX ammo quickly. So this works, so... That's what I'll do, just get two of those. And a... Right, so my game just crashed, but just show you guys this quickly, the spawn menu. You know, same as normal, you've got the beacons, you've got the towns, although I don't think you can actually buy beacons right now, they're not actually implemented. Um, but yeah, a bit annoying that my game crashed, considering I had so much dollar, but... I'm gonna go attack a base quickly. Well, not attack a base, in fact. Attack a, um, a mission quickly and show you guys that as well. Oh god, there's an enemy right there. One second. Oh, he's, he's doing his little jumpy thing. Still not dead somehow. He's dead. He's dead. Right, anyway, yeah. I'm gonna loot this guy and show you guys the uh, missions. Or one of the missions. But I mean, you know, I kill this guy, I take his glasses, and now I'm wearing glasses. Like, 
it's pretty cool just being able to loot people, steal the glasses, or like, oh, this guy's got a pretty cool looking uniform, you just want to kill him and steal it. You can do it, no problem. Now I've got commoner clothes on, apparently. Yeah, I do. That looks really stupid, but I look cool at the same time somehow. Anyway, like I said, gonna do some objectives. Or try to. So as you can see down there, there's some AI beside the crate. Just gonna try to go do that objective quickly. Just gonna land beside here. Or maybe I'll get murdered, who knows. So I think we've created somewhere just down this canyon to my right, I believe. Just past this uh, aircraft wreck. Swap to our good scope. And open fire. One down. It's a car. <laughs> Thank you for your money. So we'll see inside this. This is a rocket crate. So I'm gonna take some stuff out. Take some explosive charges. Just wait until we've reloaded that thing. There we go. And put that in there. There we go. Beautiful. Put our explosive charges down. It just works. 24 hours out. Off. Right there. And we'll just go. Boom. That was a very small, but I'm sure it was a very strong explosion at the same time. Right, anyway, I'm going to stop it here. I think I've shown most of the features of Wasteland. Basically, I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, all the features work in 24 hours, and I'm expecting this to be pretty cool once it's been developed up a bit more. I mean, it's Armour 3, it's going to be on a new map, so I'm sure the devs have got a bit more enthusiasm to develop it for Armour 3, add in some new features, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Just, you know, type in 404 Wasteland on your filter, go play on some servers. This isn't the most popular server because the most popular servers run shit. Well, a bit worse than this one, and this one runs pretty badly as it is, so I just thought I'd go on this lowish pop. I think it's 30 people on it. Um, but yeah, you can see on the map, there's objectives all over the place. The gun store works. Um, bases, I'm sure, will come very soon when they implement some more props. I'm not sure if I'd have to make it a mod to add more props, or if I'd be able to add them somehow through a mission file. I'm guessing it might have to be a mod, but either way, you know, it's cool. So yeah, go check it out. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all good stuff. Hopefully you guys are hyped for some more cool shit on Armour 3. I mean, like I said, 24 hours. I just can't get over it. Really got over my um, my expectations for how long it would take to port this kind of stuff over. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time anyway.